what's up guys, my name is Aaron. I'm from Southampton in England, but right now, I'm in Porto de la Cruz, and you're watching Fun for Louis. Boom. Good morning guys. Today, I've come down to learn a bit more about cocoa farming, and we're at a different village today. Bonjour, Jan. Ça va? Ça va. <laughs> what have you found over here, Andy? Look at this car. Such a cool car. Well, he's made it out of an old oil bottle and some yeah. nice oh, little wheels. That is cool. Can I have a go, mate? Yeah, I'll take it. Heading into the jungle. Ready to go into the jungle, Andy? Yeah. What? Can we swing on some trees? Yeah. Oh, it's a chicken. Check out these awesome chairs made out of bamboo. You're going to protect us, Andy. We haven't got the police with us today. We're secure. Okay. Yeah, where are the police? I don't know. What's exactly going on this morning? This is a farmer field school, Louis. So all the farmers are gathered here to learn about good agricultural practices. And today they're going to be talking about disease control. Okay. So how, how to stop diseases spoiling their crops. Sweet. Bonjour. Look at all these farmers. taking a little break from filming whilst we're setting up the next shot and Andy's been chilling up in the village he's going to take me for a little tour take me a tour of the village Andy uh, outdoor kitchen uh -huh. uh, cooking rice in there yeah yeah look mm. 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 I love rice mm. I love the smell mm. yeah this house is awesome because the roof is made of like flowers it's cool isn't it hello Look at that. Mm -hmm. Ow! <laughs> yeah? Yeah, it's tasty. Really is it tasty? tasty? That's okra, isn't it? This is what we saw them farming in the fields the other day. Yeah. Yeah, but you're cutting it with the machete. <laughs> 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 oh, I like your jacket, mate. He's the fashion king. He is the fashion king. Yeah. Yes, bro. Guys, check this out. This is awesome. So these chickens are walking around and they're like digging up the leaves to get to the worms and insects and stuff. But then they're moving back so their chicks can get in there and, and have a little snack too. It's cool because you don't actually ever get to see chickens doing this in, uh, when they're kept captive because they're in a little coop and this is, this is chicken's behavior in the wild. This is a fig tree, or we think it's a fig tree. And what they do is they wrap around an already existing tree, basically suffocate it, the, the other tree dies, and then it, it ends up as like a hollow tree. So look at that. I am inside the tree right now. Look at that, look up there. It's crazy, isn't it? I hope there's not like a wasp's nest or something in it. Taking a little break for lunch. It's been a good morning. We've filmed some cool bits. We were just hearing how the farmers all meet and uh, learn how to look after their crops better. And just been interviewing a few people again. 
I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying this. This whole experience is pretty awesome. Well, guys, I've got something different in my sandwich today. Potato. Potato, mushrooms, and onions. All right. Daryl, who's been one of the main guys involved with this whole shoot, is heading off. See you later, Daryl. Thanks. Hello, yeah, thanks for having yeah. me. <laughs> Live the adventure. Boom. Nathan's up as well. Thank you for having us. Fan for Louis. I'm one of them. Yeah. Fan for Louis. Yeah. Oh, fan for Louis. Oh. <laughs> Nathan's been amazing. He's just been uh, telling us all about what's going on here. He's like, he's always here doing stuff in these communities. So, absolute legend. Louis's doing another film shoot, so I've just gone for another wonder. And I uh, just heard something going on in this little village. Stop dancing, Louis. You got to get back to your job. It was brilliant. <laughs> what do you think of that? Was that good? Brilliant. Yeah. Can you guys see what I can see? Louis talking to himself. Learning. <laughs> it's so easy to take access to education for granted, but it's clear that the people here are so eager to learn. <laughs> Louis, you pulled it off. I pulled it off, mate. Uh, it took him about 20 uh, takes, but you pulled it off. Yeah. Well, shake his hand. Wow. <laughs> hey, Louis, check out all these guys in front of us. You wouldn't get that in uh, London. Kids, kids with machetes, yeah. Machetes. Are we going in here? No, I don't think so. We're walking through the jungle to the next location. I think we're going back to that um, nursery where they planted all the seeds. I love this, this is awesome. Louis uh, learning his lines. He has a lot of lines to learn. He's doing a really good job. I don't know how he does it. Oh. oh. You're gonna go up here. Right. I'm gonna go there and we're gonna film. And you're now? gonna go very far. Right now? Yeah. Okay. Chicken versus puppy. How are you doing with your lines, mate? Sorry. Chicken versus puppy. Look, the whole family is on this motorbike. Look at the kids. <laughs> we're doing my last little talky bit whilst driving. Wasn't Take the whole fast in the top of one, was he? The whole team are in, in the car there. Similar Sound speed, guy, similar speed camera guy. Yeah. It's the end of the day, I have one more line to deliver and the car has just broken down. This is the car that we're filming from, so I'm sitting in the back here and I need to do one last drive where I just like do the final sign out. And uh, yeah, this has happened. <laughs> Yeah. Looks like we're staying in the village tonight. Do you <laughs> Andy, I think we're going to get stranded here, bro. To be fair, actually, yeah, no, that would be bad because you need to do one last line driving up in, in that car. Yeah, and the, the sun is literally setting right now. Ah, oh. you know what? It would be lovely to stay out there, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah, what camp in one of these houses? That would be awesome. Love it. So I think that's a wrap. They didn't manage to fix the car, so we're going to have to cram in the uh, remaining cars for the journey back. Three in the back, yeah? So the others are just going out for dinner. I'm going to stay in. I've just ordered some room service because I've got a bunch of editing to do. And also, I'm trying to recover some of the corrupted files from the GoPro, um, the 360. I was saying last night I 
um, I had some problems or whatever. Um, I may have figured something out. I'm using some data recovery stuff and then I'm going to do some video repair software. I really hope it works. It's going to take me hours though and I'm behind on editing so I'm going to I'm going to need to stay up very late tonight. But this is what's going on currently. I've managed to find something. There's some files appearing or something. I am rendering my vlog. It's almost 6 a.m. Uh, to be fair, I spent a lot of the night trying to salvage the GoPro clips and I think I did it, guys. I think I did it. Um, yeah, very frustrating. I would have loved to get a vlog up for you tonight. Um, but I'm just going to delay it a day to tomorrow and maybe this week I'll do some double uploads so I can catch up with myself. Um, but yeah, it's been another awesome day. Hopefully you saw some little snippets of what we were up to. Um, I just want to give a big shout out to the whole team and uh, despite a bit of stress and having to kind of find their way out of complicated situations this week, um, they did amazing and it's been a pleasure to be a part of this. And uh, yeah, I think I'd like to do more kind of professional productions uh, alongside my vlogs. Uh, let me know what you guys think, whether that'd be cool and I'll catch you in the morning. Peace out, enjoy life, and live the adventure. Boom.